What? For dinner? I haven't thought. No? Why not? I find the thought of dinner fatiguing. I prefer not to think about it. That's rather unfortunate. I'm hungry. <clears throat> You hardly expect me to embark on dinner after a day spent sifting through matters of high finance in the city. One could even <laughs> suggest you're falling down on your wifely duty. Oh dear. Yes, I rather suspected this would happen sooner or later. How's your hall? Splendid. Fatter or thinner? I beg your pardon. Is she fatter or thinner? She gets thinner every day. Oh, that must displease you. Not at all. I'm fond of thin ladies. I thought the contrary. Really? Why would you have thought that? Of course, your failure to have dinner on the table is quite consistent with the life you've been leading for some time, isn't it? Is it? Entirely. Am I being unkind? I'm being unkind. I don't know. Yes, I am. In the traffic jam of the bridge just now, you see, I came to a decision. Oh, what? That it has to stop. What? Your debauchery. Your life of depravity, your path of illegitimate lust. Really? Yes, I've come to an irrevocable decision on that point. Would you like some cold ham? Do you understand me? Not at all. I have something cold in the fridge. Too cold, I'm sure. The fact is, this is my house. From today, I forbid you to entertain your lover on these premises. This applies to any time of the day. Is that understood? I've made a salad for you. What are you drinking? Yeah, you, you know what I drink. We've been married ten years. So we have. Of course, it's strange that it's taken me so long to appreciate the humiliating ignominy of my position. I didn't take my lover ten years ago, not quite. Not on the honeymoon. That's irrelevant. The fact is I am a husband who has extended to his wife's lover open house on any afternoon of desire. <laughs> I have been too kind. Haven't I been too kind? But of course, you're terribly kind. Perhaps you would pay my compliments. Buy a letter, if you like, and ask him to cease his visit. Well, how can you talk like this? Why today so suddenly, hmm? But listen, you, you've had a hard day at the office. All those overseas people, it's so tiring, but it's silly. It's so silly to talk like this. Why today? Listen, I, I'm here for you, and you've always appreciated how much these afternoons mean. You, you've always understood. Understanding is so rare, so, so dear. Do you think it's pleasant to know that your wife is unfaithful to you two or three times a week with great regularity? Richard! It's insupportable. It has become insupportable. I'm no longer disposed to put up with it. Sweet Richard, please. Please. What? 